What is up everybody, I am Grant Burton and today I am playing Dead Space 2 for the very first time. I have never played Dead Space 2 before. I've played the first one, that's important to note. So I've got an idea of what to expect, but maybe not quite what the first one was. I believe this one might be a bit more action oriented and I'm just adjusting my camera slightly. Let me just see what that is like, now that I've adjusted it. Yeah, that is okay. Got a good view of my mug. So, let's start off with a previously on Dead Space, just to get us up to speed in case you haven't played the first game like I have. Let me know what the sound's like, let me know what the, the audio is like. Century, Earth's resources were ravaged, consumed, exhausted. Desperate and on the verge of extinction, we cast out into the void of space and discovered rich new worlds waiting to be cracked open and stripped bare. I don't know about you, but I can All barely read those subtitles. To this effort. The planet crackers were built, the USG Ishimura the first and most famous. Planet cracking became routine. Its spoils kept us alive. Eventually, greedy eyes fell upon Aegis Seven. Restricted for centuries for reasons unknown, Greed and corruption saw to the demise of caution. Again, let me know about the visuals, let me know about the order, the, the audio in particular. The, artifact, the red marker. Can you long hear me? Is there an echo? Can you hear the game? The religion I once called my own had found its holy grail. The key to human immortality. Or so we thought. Salvation. It brought doom. Marker bred insanity, murder, and chaos. I am playing this on PC on an RTX 4090. Of course, last year Dead Space got the remake treatment and it was fantastic. Those who escaped Dead Space 2 hasn't had that yet. This is the original Dead Space 2. So, you know, it might not look up to date compared to some games. Within hours, the Ishimura went dark. The corporation dispatched a small repair crew to check on its investment. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. Among the crew was an engineer, Isaac Clark. Isaac, it's me. He had something special about the Ishimura. I wish I could talk to you. I'm... In the darkness, Isaac found death. Oh, there was a lot of death. Lots and lots of death, if I remember right. And the red marker. It was not holy, it was not alien, it was man-made. And it could be used to stop the outbreak. Isaac also found Nicole. Thank you, Isaac. I always believed Dead by her own hand. She was an apparition. I really liked the first Dead Space. I thought the remake was even better. It's, the remake probably made it one of my favorite games of all time. So that's saying something. But everything else was destroyed. This is a longer recap than I was expecting. More detailed as well. I was expecting it just to be like clips of the first game, but no, they actually went out and done like voiceover and later, stuff. He wakes in a hospital on Titan Station. An Earth Gov metropolis on Saturn's largest moon. Isaac has survived, but his mind is no longer safe. For the marker changes all. Right, so that's the previously on Dead Space. Let's get straight into it. I've already been into the settings and stuff. So, that should be all right. You can read this text a bit better. 
Hopefully that subtitle size is adjustable. I'll look into that once I get into the game. Unless the game actually has larger subtitles. Because, you know, there's a reason I wear glasses. It's not just for good looks. But yeah, like I said, I've not actually played Dead Space 2 or Dead Space 3. Isaac, are you there? Come in, Isaac. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Isaac. Look at the time difference. Oh, no, I'll call no, you back okay. later. It's okay. How are you doing? Good. You're right, Isaac. The Ishmer is a great ship. I am so lucky to be serving aboard her. Enjoy it while it lasts. You know they're going to decommission her next year. Isaac. Thank you. For what? For just pushing me to do this. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far. You're you getting made me some stick with Kristen it. Bell vibes from Nicole. You up for six months, so I you know it's not played this. by Kristen you know Bell. But maybe it's just the blonde hair. I don't know. Isaac. This is around the time of the original Assassin's Creed games as well. Kristen Bell was in that. So Isaac. It, yeah. You were drifting away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. I believe you were telling me about your nightmares that you've been having. About your dead girlfriend. What was her name? Nicole. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. Just once. I loved you. I always loved you. Yes. Nicole Brandon. She was a senior medical officer stationed aboard a Planet Cracker class vessel. Ishimura. USG Ishimura, yes. Part of a mining operation on Aegis 7. I understand communications went down shortly after their arrival. You were part of the repair mission. A mission for which you volunteered, am I right? What did you find aboard that ship, Isaac? They found something. What did they find aboard the ship, Isaac? The marker. Did you have contact with this marker? I don't know if it's been picked up on the microphone at all, but my surround sound system is really making a meal out of this right now. The bass is booming. Again, if there's any audio issues, if you are picking up my surround sound system too much, let me know. I will make adjustments on the fly as best I can. Isaac. Isaac, can you hear me? Dana, I found Isaac Clark. Certainly, the Repeat, I have him. age of this game, graphically, it's okay so far. Good, good. I'm not immediately looking at this and thinking, ooh, this is an old game. I mean, it is. But it's not that apparent. Right, I, I know you're confused right now. I can explain everything, but you gotta trust me, okay? Listen. You're in terrible, terrible danger. Oh. He thinks I'm in danger. Oh wow, he transformed very, very quickly here. I'm running, I'm running, trust me. Oh. It's all... Oh, well, wow. Um, well, that's it, that's Dead Space 2. Very brief game, I've got to say. But no, let's uh, try to survive this time. It's... Very exciting from the word go. I remember the first game was like really slow. I suppose you can't do that twice though. Do much better this time. Oh no no oh eh, eh, eh. So I'm almost dead, and we're just beginning. Great! I'm stuck in a hospital. 
Right, let me see about these subtitles. Audio, would it be in there? I can turn the subtitles on. No subtitle size adjustment. That's disappointing. Right. Yeah, well, that uh, kind of sucks because not very good for accessibility. Chapter 1. No title, just chapter 1. Alright. Again, I'm playing this on PC on an RTX 4090. But I'm using an Xbox controller because, you know, don't like mouse and keyboard. Things are getting spooky. Come on, take it down. Oh, well, why are they trying to take me down? Okay, that's interesting. Am I not on their side? I know I'm in a straight jacket, so you know that's it's a year later. I don't know quite what's happened between the games. But being in a straight jacket isn't a good sign. They don't put you in a straitjacket for good behavior, let's put it that way. Very dark. I'm actually quite impressed by the light and the shadows in this, so far. I think the first game was 2008, so this would have been a, at least a couple years later. So we're talking almost 15 years old, probably, on the, lo the longer side. Talk about what you saw today. The doctors here, they don't have Come a on, very Strauss. good bedside manner. I'm here to help you. It was black. Deep black and glowing red with symbols. Symbols whispered to me. And what did the symbols whisper to you? Come on, Strauss. What? It was just sharp. It was just sharp, but it. Put so much stuff in my head, so much shit in my head. There's no more room for anything. I can't remember what he looks like, but I can't remember. The symbol, Strauss! What did the symbols tell you? They told me that it wasn't my fault! I didn't kill him! They didn't deserve this, and I didn't deserve this! <laughs> Fucker. Put Mr. Strauss back in stasis, suggest his medication up 30 milligrams, and we'll try another session first thing in the morning. All right. Subject is Nolan Strauss. Have a good look around now. I don't think there's much I can do because I obviously can't pick things up. So uh, yeah. I think looking around might not actually be worth it right now. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, interesting cells. The eyes looking much better today, yes, don't you think? It hurts. I really like the sci-fi world yes, that they created for these games. Tomorrow. Oh, no. No, I, I don't think I'm ready. I, I don't think I can take another session out there. First thing tomorrow. Now let's talk about what you saw today. Come on. What's he doing? Come on, man. Face me for. I remember you. Tied him. Said we. All the key subjects need to be eliminated. Terminated. Which one 
more. Just listen to me, man. Will it matter? Listen to Will me! Will it matter? We can both get out of here. Just, just cut me out of the straitjacket. No one's getting out of here alive. Alive. Don't do it. Oh. Oh, am I just doing Oh, no. There's no escaping from what I've done. <laughs> take it easy, buddy. Just take it easy. Is that the doctor? Or is he another patient? The rig is red. It's red. It's a health bag and a flashlight yeah, and that wall locker. You should grab them. Go ahead. Take it. I won't be needing it anymore. Oh, got a gun as well. No, it's just a flashlight. Isaac, we're all gonna burn for what we did to you. Oh, oh crap. Interesting choice. I feel like there are better ways to kill yourself. Like, why not just stab yourself rather than slice your whole throat? Isn't that a bit uh, easier? I mean, if you have to kill yourself, I, I'm no expert in the matter. You know, I'm still alive, so... But yeah, I think I'd rather stab myself in the neck than rip my own Clark. throat out like that. Isaac Clark, is that you? Who are you? My name is Dana. I'm the one trying to rescue you. Why? What's going on? You're suffering from a unique so much form of dementia, you. Isaac. Something you contracted on age of seven. How do you know that? How do you know all this about me? Your dementia will kill you. But if you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Why should I trust you? Because I'm not the one shooting at you. Your point? Just follow the route I'm sending you. Yeah, what, what's with the attitude, Isaac? You just met her and you're already like shouting down our throat. Always a calming sign when you're in an elevator and all the lights go out. That's never a sign of uh, something bad about to happen, is it? Yes, I've just done that. Really good light. I'm expecting something to jump out at me. No. Okay. Now things are getting spooky. I'm already doing it. Speed and sensitivity. Oh. Movement speed and sensitivity is a touch uh, stiff, in my liking. Yeah, I still just have a flashlight as well. No ammo or actual weapons. Oh, what's that? Okay. What am I pressing? Nope. Orderly TPS report 1418. The recent realization that the popsicle sticks were being constructed into marker-like miniatures for over a year has led to a search of the unit for any other such phenomena. It appears widespread, with marker forms being made out of medication bottles, hypodermic needles, and even toiletry items like nail clippers and tweezers. The research teams have all been notified of the discovery. Okay. We've got some artists on the space station. Always save whenever you come across one of these. There's a reason they're there. You can hear them in the distance. Still wondering how I'm supposed to fight them with no ammo. No. I'm just waiting for one of these showers to suddenly burst into action. Yep, there we go. Classic horror move. Oh. 
What's going on? Some sort of vision? Oh, what the hell? Oh. Wasn't sure what that was though. Actually, turn the camera here. Ah, uh, but I can move eyes like left and right still. Oh. Oh, okay. Isaac, what happened? Are you alright? Why are you helping me? If Tideman finds you, more people will die, including me. Not if you follow my route. I don't like this. You don't have to like it. Just hurry before you get locked in. That's some sort of surgery, I think, was going on here, maybe? Seems like a weird, weird way to do surgery. Why not just, I don't know, use a bed? Telekinetic surgical binding active. Grab, aim, and press B. Right, that's glass. I can see the blood smeared on it. Got some form of weapon now. Oh! Oh, there's more. Where's it gone? Hey, stuck to the wall. Stick around. Oh, smash the bodies because sometimes leave little things for me. Right, check around the corners first. Waste all my health back. Not sure if it's been picked up on the stream or anything, but the surround sound pretty disappointing. I get a feeling the game wasn't initially designed for it. Oh, there's a third one. Oh crap! I've got no weapon. And... Oh, that might slow it down at least. Oh! I'm not sure what I threw out right there. Get these credits. Barely see what you're doing, which is kind of the point I get it, but it's a little frustrating. I've got to keep putting my flashlight on. It'd be great if I just could turn it on like it was on my chest or something rather than having to aim. Shadows that play there. Yes. Me. Oh, 
There we go. Oh, lost its head. Oh, the guy's still alive in the middle of surgery. I'll be there in a minute, mate. Don't worry. Getting some ammo now, so am I close to getting a gun? That's. Can anyone hear me? <laughs> yeah, he's a little tied down. You! You! Oh. Thank God! Please come help me! Yeah. I don't have the heart you. to leave him. You! Thank God! Please come help me! Surgical tissue incision in process. Calm down. I'll cut you out of there. Is that a tissue laser? A plasma cutter? Oh my god! Fuck! What the fuck are you doing? Oh, oh. Shit. Help! And the doctor is here, but he's not using scalpels. Nope, there you go. I'm afraid there was a issue with the surgery. Remember, you gotta shoot the limbs. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted a head transplant, that's a pretty good cut. You know, very smooth. Oh, I really want to waste my ammo on this guy. I might not have a choice. Is there anything I can throw at it to, like, put it out with misery? There we go. Isaac, it's Dana. You have to dismember the creatures to stop them. I know. I've had a lot of practice. Just try to stay in one piece. Thanks. There's so much attitude going on between these two. I feel like I've missed something here. Just from the moment they start speaking, they're just so aggressive to one another. Intensive care waiting area. Oh. Is that something or not? No. So I'm heading that way. So that means go the other way first. Don't think I can actually go anywhere that way. with that one. Oh, 
I had a feeling that one was still alive. Right. Assuming I'm going that way. Oh no, I'm going that way. Interesting. And what's over here? When you see doors like that, you know you're just going to be coming back here later on. Much more action packed than the first game I've noticed so far. Maybe that'll change later on, it'll become much more of a horror survival experience. Orderly TPS report 1411. The patients are becoming agitated and combative with us. As a result of the new regimens of memory erasing drugs, they no longer remember who we are from day to day and must be convinced to leave their cells each morning. Many are so frightened they require sedation to get to the interrogation chamber. Orderly Gusetis was bitten three times by patient six who now must be told why he has a broken jaw every morning. Wow. Okay. I mean, if you're a patient, well no, if you're a doctor and you're getting bitten by a patient, I get it. It, it. It's not a pleasant experience, but should you really be breaking their jaw? That seems excessive. I mean, this doesn't look like the most, like, you know, uh, by the book hospital. I've got to say, it's also quite unhygienic. I mean, look at that. You'd never get away with that in the UK and the NHS. Like, call out the NHS all you want, but they'd be on top of this. based on the music. Throwing at me. Come on, I can take them. Dana? Dana? Okay, you're right. I do need your help. Talk to me. 
Look, Isaac, we don't have to be friends. But like it or not, we're stuck together. Tideman's your enemy, not me. All right, I found you a new route. Fine. So where the hell am I? How did another Necromorph outbreak get started? You're on Titan Station orbiting Saturn. As for the outbreak... <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, of course that's going to happen Titan's right when she's about to tell her. So they're finally on the same page. They definitely seem to have some sort of history together that I'm not aware of. Oh, what's that? Text log. Anxiety spike. Attention reception desk. Please refer all registrants complaining of anxiety and or psychological problems to the other hospitals in the area. We are booked and running low on mood elevating medications. With the recent CEC layoffs and the increased tensions between unitologists and EarthGov, I thought that was enough of a spike in cases. This new wave is something entirely different. Dr. Brian Alpaz, Department of Psychology. I mean, would you really be telling the receptionist that? I don't work in the hospital, so I don't know what the protocol is, but... Receptionists aren't doctors normally, so would they not be liable to, I don't know, panic? If you hear something like that? House officer, Keeper Shanks. Keeper Shanks. That's a that's an interesting name. We're entering the triage room now. What's this? Another text log. They're just leaving these all over the place. Maintenance report 384003, stasis bed 00056784, replace tachyon unit, the ghost emitter array, calibrated Heisenberg forks, yeah that is Heisenberg forks, induction coil still not firing in sequence, testing for shattered matrix, called in to dispatch to cancel next appointment, this may take all day. Slowly rotate that and find the weak spots and press A. Getting time though, that doesn't seem like a good thing. Got it? Oh, there's more, I'm running out of time. What does that do? This. Right, okay. Oh, oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> really? I died. Yo, am I? Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. That up again. I'm not ready this time. So, you know, what's the point? Right, I'll get ready for that attack. Anything I can quickly pick up? No, not really. I'm not sure about this mini game. How does he kill me in one? Right, let's see. Third time lucky, you know, that's what they say, or third time's the charm.
Come on, you can do this. Got him this time, son of a bitch. Get this up now. Beauty gate monitor control, so that opens that gate. Oops, stasis recharge. Can I do anything here? Can I pull out one of the beds, maybe? Do stuff like that in the first game. No, well... That. Of course. Oh, he might, uh, might have some sort of stomach flu or something there. That's, uh, yeah, that's important. Oh, new type of enemy. Dead as the others, though. Oh, there's another one. Alright. Oh, this looks like the mog. Had a bad experience in the morgue one time. In the first game, that is. Not in real life. I've never been to a morgue in real life. Don't particularly want to, either. So far, I'm actually really liking this game. I'm a little impressed by it, considering its age. What the fuck? I reckon my computer's probably doing a lot right now to make it better than what it... Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Probably wasted my ammo, but got a good little sound effect from it. Text log. Why is everyone just leaving all these text logs around? It's like me writing something on my iPad and then just leaving the iPad on the floor. Chairman Donovan, this is Dr. Brooks. I've said this many times and I'll say it again. I don't like the secrecy behind the new labs they've installed in the psych wing. It's been three years and we don't have the faintest clue what's going on. Such secrecy has no place in an open and free society. Their networks are so isolated that we can't even tell if they have one, let alone sift through it to see if anything unethical has taken place right under our noses. If we don't get some traction on this soon, 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 I'm going to go to Tiderman. Tideman and insist on formal review of these policies. Brooks out. I think I'm on Brooks side. I've never seen Brooks side. I don't actually know what it is. Is that? It's a soap opera, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. Oh, it's 
space. Not good. Oh no, this is not good. What do I do? Right. So they have blast shields in case the windows break. That's great, that's great news. You want that. It's very important. But it seems a bit odd that you need to shoot something hanging above the open window in order to get the shield to go down. Yeah, that seems like a big design flaw. Gotta be honest. Do I go through there? No. Like, if I'm about to be sucked out into space, I want the blast shields to go down automatically. I want there to be some sort of sensors there. I don't want it to be on me to fix the situation when I'm probably like panicking and nearly dead. Getting a lot of power nodes. Am I about to be able to upgrade? Oh, yes, I think I am. Will I be getting the classic suit? And out of this straight jacket? Welcome to Microstore, CEC Engineer Isaac Clark. Updating inventory to CEC Engineering Loadout. So we've got the shop, the inventory, and the safe. So there's my inventory. Anything in the safe? Nope. And the st okay, that's hard to see. What's that? Agility rivet gun. That's a new one. Fire rivets. Rapid fire is enabled on this model. Okay. You can also discharge embedded rivets. One and implement damage is possible. Oh, I can buy suits in this game. I can even pick which suit I want and they don't all cost money. Is that true? Some of them are just saying zero. What have we got then? Hazard suit. The hazard suit grants unique functionality to the wearer. Med pack bonus. An additional 10% healed when using med packs. That's a cool one. I do like my health. Purchase guarantees a minimum of 15 inventory slots and 15% armor. Okay. So this is an engineering suit. This is closer to what I had in the first game, I think. 10 inventory slots and 5% armor, but it's not as good as this one. There's the hazard suit. Forged engineering suit. That sounds like it's better than the engineering one. Yeah, 15% healed when using med packs. Guarantee. Right, okay, so that's the same as this, as the hazard suit. EarthGov security suit. Grants unique functionality to the wearer. You get a weapon bonus. Detonator, seeker rifle, and pulse rifle, five percent damage. Right. Still get the same amount of armor and everything as well. Triage suit. Five percent increase in stasis duration. Okay. Shock point suit. Five percent decrease in stasis recharge time. Okay. Agility advanced suit. Stasis duration increased by ten percent. Heavy duty vintage suit. Line gun detonator contact beam 5% damage bonus. Right, okay. So, I think I'm going with the hazard suit. My concern is can I only get one of these for free and then the others I have to pay for later on, or can I switch these up whenever I want in the game? Only one way to find out. Well, here we go, the big suit up moment. Hype! 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 Okay. Gotta say I'm not that impressed. It looks just like all the other suits so far. From the first game anyway. Except it's black. Except for like the ground. Alright. 
So let's have a look. No, no, I can change them anytime I want. Okay, that's cool. Good to know. Good to know. I'll stick with this one for now. So I've got 12,000 credits. What can I possibly buy? Agility plasma cutter. You know, why can't you just give me a normal gun and then let me upgrade it how I want rather than have all of these? A forged plasma cutter. Why has there got to be two different ones? So this one... Damage plus 10%, reload minus 5. Reload minus 5, speed plus 5. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like what they're doing here. A bloody javelin gun. <laughs> okay. Is it bloody in that it makes them bleed? Launch a javelin. It is a new gun for this game, not in the first one. Ocean danger of impalement, of course. And you can electrify it. Doesn't cost any money either. Why don't these cost money? I just noticed that. Damage plus 5, reload minus 10, reload minus 5, B plus 5. Triage javelin gun. So, what does this one do compared to this one? Damage plus 10, reload minus 5. Oh, hold on. Oh, right, set, right, it's primary and secondary fire that changes on this one. So that, the primary damage goes up on that one, and the secondary damage goes up on that one. Right. I'll give that a go. And this one looks like it's the same with the hazard one. Forged line gun. Heavy duty line gun. A shock point ripper. So much choices and so early on. EarthGov Detonator, that's a new gun, I think. Force gun. Contact beam. Seeker rifle. What's a seeker rifle? A single long range round. Okay, so it's like a sniper in a way. I do like snipers. I'll have that. Right. Oh, what have I just done? No, I don't want to move that. Well, if these are all free, they might only be free at this solo, for all I know, so... Okay, weapon slots are full, so I can't actually buy anymore. Right. So, let's see. Yeah, I can switch weapons like that. This is the new one, the javelin gun. Right, let's save me game, so I don't have to do all that again. And let's have a drink before moving on. Right, let's go. Oh uh, yeah, I've got my inventory now. 15% armor, 120 seconds of air. I've also got four nodes. Not actually a way to upgrade here yet. So maybe that's coming up. Oh, that's why I needed the suit. Got another power node. Always worth looking out. I know my oxygen's going down, so I've got to be quick here. Yeah? Cool bubble effects. Oh, this is a big room. Welcome to Titan Station Emergency Care Wing. Due to the evacuation order, all services are currently suspended. All physicians and staff are ordered to report to their assigned evacuation craft immediately. 
This looks like an arena, almost. As if I might get attacked. With lots of tickets. Oh. Yeah, what did I say? New type of enemy as well. And, right. What's the best weapon to use here? Um, oh, one down. Oh crap. Oh, is that the ammo all gone for that gun? That's bollocks. Oh. I only just got that gun. Nope, that did not work at all. Should have picked that up. Why does it keep looking up? Is there a stasis thing that I can find? There we go, that's what I need. There we go. Got it, is he done? No, no, he's not done at all, he's still got a ton. Oh no, yeah, he's dead. Oh no, he's not. is just beyond the apartment block. Hang on. I need more answers. How long have I been here? Three years. Tideman found you floating in space. Three in years? I thought it was one. And brought you here for study. Why can't I remember anything? The marker you found imprinted your brain with a self-replicating signal. The longer you're awake, the more the signal spreads. It's killing you, Isaac. Tideman tried to keep it in check with memory suppressants. Well, you said you could fix it, right? Only if you reach me in time. Tram station, get moving. So he's been here three years, he's lost all of his memories. So he doesn't actually know who this Dana is, in which case, what the hell Isaac? What's with all the attitude? I know it must be frustrating not having your memory and all, but... Yeah, I don't think we're getting out on that. There we go. Let's carry on into the vehicle maintenance bay. Close. I am a mechanic and an engineer, remember? So, about time I fix something. a lot of credits, a lot of power nodes, but I've not yet to find anything that I can spend them on. What's that? No, nothing. Very detailed and very atmospheric, but a lot of the areas are just kind of like, no reason to be there. I love how like the weapons and items you use are like they have like a purpose. Like that's there, Kinesis is used to help with you know, engineering and stuff. It's not just a cool like weapon item thing that you can get. And my plasma cut is essentially a surgical device combined with a flashlight. Audio. Listen up. This is Sorensen from CEC. Cut off their limbs. It's the only way they go down. It's their limbs. That's the secret. Comms are down. We can't get a broadcast out, so tell everyone you see. I've already... How many of them do I need to hear? I know how to kill them. 
If you don't know how to kill them by uh, getting to this point in the game, then I'm sorry, this game's probably not for you. You shouldn't need to be reminded at this point. Right, so what can I upgrade? Let's see. I've got five things to put in. Hit points. There we go. I use the plasma cutter a lot, so I can either increase the damage or the capacity. So it's currently a 10 for both of them. I'm not complaining too much about either of those right now. Maybe the capacity. Although I've just realised I can't actually go to the next... No, no, I can't. Yeah, you can actually weld those nodes, but I'm not going to get anything from that, so why would I do that? Oh well. I'm not going to put no nodes into the weapons I haven't used yet, because I don't know much about them. Capacity, that's a good one for that one. Alright, I'll just leave it there for now. to the store just to see if anything new has been added or if the prices of anything have changed. Oh yes, they have changed. They've all gone up. Great! Oh no. I can, yeah, I can still change the weapons at will. Which is an interesting choice. That's new, what's that? Contact energy. Full surround, it's just ammo. So, nothing to get there, really. You know, in any like film, TV show, video game, whatever, if someone's enlisting martial law, it's never a good thing, is it? So this Tyrant guy, I reckon he's the bad guy. Okay, I can override that with a no. What, what is in there? What, why would I do that? Well, I've done it. Better be worth it. So what's that? Med pack. Schematic for power node. Javelin spear, so I don't even have the javelin gun. My inventory is now full. Great. Test log. Titan Station Quarterly Economic Report. Classified. Authorised persons only. Do not forward. Titan Station unemployment grew unexpectedly to 9.5% due to collateral job losses from the ongoing collapse of local planet cracking business. The aftermath of the Ishimura incident continues to depress all planet cracking activity as more and more support services go out of business, leaving less and less capacity for planet cracking. However, Titan Station continues to post a small profit. 
Buoyed solely by the cash influx from Earthgo's scientific research and operations facilities, Human Needs and Services Organization has been spared the brunt of the Planet Kraken collapse by the pickup in traffic with government sector. Planet Cracker docks, ship services, mining supplies and tool vendors continue to post heavy losses. However, the CEC itself has found moderate new life for its facility in the R&D department of the government. Oh, come on. So I've wasted all that basically, because now I can't pick these up. That in particular is something I want. What's my event? What's in my event? Alright, so if I... Yeah, I need to go and sell those at the store. And then I can come back and pick those up. Order to evacuate. So what am I selling? What's this? Gold semiconductor valuable electronic component. You sell it. Yep. Just making sure. Yep. Stored that. And the other thing, the schematic I put in there and I've already got it. Does that mean? Yeah, I can buy power nodes now. Right. Cool, cool, cool. Now go back, pick up that thing. Then come back here and sell it again. A bit tedious, but has to be done. What am I getting stuck on? I'm like, I can pick these up. Obviously, I can't use them, but I can put them into my safe space for later. You know, think ahead. So, where is it now? What am I selling? That's it. The Ruby Semiconductor. Yep, sell at the store for credits. 10,000. That's a lot. Uh, the Javelin Spears. I don't have the Javelin. So, wait, no, do I? I do have a Javelin, don't I? Yes, I do have the Javelin. Alright, well, that's useful then. Do I really need all that health, though? Hmm. Because I don't actually have any ammo for my other weapons. So if I move that, I don't need to be carrying all that health. And then it's there for a. in case things get rough later on, which they probably will. Right, let's move on. Attention, this is Director Tightman. A station wide. Did my game so I don't have to do all that again. Oh no. Don't have a seeker. No, oh, there's a lot of people all getting attacked. Guess I'm taking the elevator. Sorry, mate. 
Never put your arms in front of the elevator door. That's why. Isaac! Isaac! Who are you? It's the drugs, Isaac. They gave us drugs to make us forget. But it's all coming. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you calling me? Isaac! Isaac, look out! Oof. Well, that was a uh, easy than I expected. Is he gone? Maybe. Making sure. I feel like I'm just picking up credits and power nodes all over the place. We have to go. Oh crap. God forbid they let me interact with another person. Might as well check out this little apartment. I am looking for a place to rent. Oh, yeah. One of the acid ones. Like I might have put the difficulty slightly lower than I should have. It is on normal, so it, you know that's kind of what you should play it at. But it just feels a little easy right now. I know we're still very early in the game. Okay, washing machines. Is it a washing machine? I'm assuming it's a washing machine. Yeah, that's just it. he got. That's not it, surely. Oh, sorry, now I think that he's not. There's one behind me as well, I can tell. Oh, crap. Had to bring out the big guns on that one. Washing machines. Oh. Right. Oh, it's alive. Now where were we? Oh man, might have just missed my ride. Go, 
Be the smartest choice you ever make, but text load. Titan Part One: United Space Fair and Guild History Series. Titan Station: Conquering the Moon, Part One of Two. Planet Kraken first became feasible in the decades following the discovery of the Unified Field Theory, which allowed us to control the Gravitron in the same manner we were accustomed to controlling the Electron. With the advent of large-scale applications of gravitation control, it became clear to the mining consortiums they had a new tool at hand. Shock point drives were in their infancy, so extra solar miner, extra solar miner was out of the question, and the dangers of planet cracking were still unknown. Saturn's moon Titan was selected as the site of the first moon harvest, as it was known back then. Saturn was as far from Earth as the consortiums were willing to work and still have reasonable access to timely supplies and support. There are necromorphs everywhere. Is the entire sprawl infected? How this happen? The marker was destroyed, Dana. I destroyed it. You destroyed a marker, Isaac. Tyman built another one. Yeah. On this station? Why? It's powerful alien technology. Tyman wants that power. Get to the tram. It'll take you to the casino tower's turn Dana? Damn it. I've got to say, I'm actually really impressed by this game so far. I'm a little surprised I didn't play it before. Oh, that's uh... Oh, I don't like babies. No, can't see anything on there. the woman crying. Is that her? Oh, that's her. Yeah, she's dead now. The baby stopped as well, I've noticed. Oh. Every now and then it still gets me with a little bit of a shock. This is a way bigger space station than I was expecting. I am on a space station, yeah? Wow. Oh. That's a fast one. Oh, he jumped. <laughs> Try a different weapon. What have I got? Yeah, this is like. I'm assuming this is like the sniper rifle. Yeah. So, yeah, primary fire, hold off, 
no trigger, fire a fully automatic barrage of, and no, the wrong weapon, sorry. Press RT to fire a single long range round, so that does sound like a sniper. Press RB to toggle the zoom mode and increase the shot damage. Yes, so I can zoom in. I think it's less of a sniper rifle and more of a, just a rifle, basically. Power malfunctions, where am I heading? Oh. Um. Okay, I've got this long oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm so alive. I quite like this gun. I like guns like this. Doesn't pack a huge punch. Not good for a up close combat. Though. And I really went the wrong way here. Talk about coming in hot. Oh, don't say there's a tram line on this game as well. <sighs> Always worth looking around. Anything shiny, that's video game language for you. Anything shiny, interactive. Oh, you know, it's just something shiny. It's not so much a tram system in this game, more of a train line. A little bit different. I'll let them off. Oh. No, this is not my train, I'm afraid. It's, uh, yeah, it doesn't go my way. Oh no, I can't let him keep there. Oh, that's a cool one. I like that. I could do with finding a way of increasing my inventory. Oh, there's more enemies. Oh, crap. Not good, not good. Uh, well, yeah. I suppose you can handle them. Can I pick these up again? No. Okay, so I'm not actually on the train or using the train, am I? Am I just traveling through it? Now what? 
Oh, the train's moving. We're on the go. Big time as well. in the nodes or if I somehow just have to buy a new suit like I did in the first game. Oh that 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 might be a problem. Really? Okay. This is cool. I'm liking this. I'm tapping in, I'm tapping. There we go. Made that look easy. Come on, let me. Can I pick that up now? Nope. This reminds me of the last one. Oh, I don't know where am I aiming? Oh no, I'm under attack and I can't stay because I can't friggin' pick up the ammo. Oh, I'm Hanging fruit, you cannot. This isn't there. Come on. Not cool. Oh. Can I use stasis when I'm upside down? Yes, I can't change my gun. Good to know. Great. Missed on my first shot. I think I shot myself there. Damn it. Third time's the charm. So I could just pick that up. That, that's my preferred weapon. Yeah, there we go. This 
one, the fast one. There we go, I've done it. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm sure that was good. Pleasant route, but it'll get you to the Cassini Towers residential sector. Damn it! Tyman has the signal again. Who's moving? Okay. You're very important to the Isaac. Hold tight. I'll contact you soon. The first game had a couple of set pieces, well, a few, but nothing quite like that. Right now I do think I still prefer the slow build up and hence horror of the first game. But this game really is impressing me so far. I'm having a lot of fun. And hopefully you are too. Just need to find a way to improve my inventory because that's the annoying thing right now. But all these things that I can pick up only I can't actually pick them up. Is there anything? No, nothing tucked away there. Right, let's carry on. Chapter 3 now. I feel like I'm powering my way through it. I don't know how many chapters there are all together. I think in the first game there was like 12 chapters, but probably shouldn't go off that too much. I see you, Shadow. We'll be back. Go! Some of them will sneak up on you because it's dark, you can't always tell where they are. Trixies, the galaxy's best candy. I'll take your word for it. These are really easy to go oh, away. Shit, where the hell do all these come from? What the hell? No, 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 no. They're easy to kill, but they're coming packs. Oh, crap. Am I meant to fight them or do I just run? Oh, wow. That was a. Uh, something.
they're not all gonna leave something, are they? I think you're still alive. We can't talk. I think we're tracking our signals. Are the memories coming back to you? They're coming back to me. The good ones. And the bad ones. The more I remember, the more my head hurts. I keep seeing the symbols. Do you know the symbols too, Isaac? In him. I keep seeing his face. Shit, tell me. Right. Can I go in that shop now? No, they are they just burst out here on the side. Yeah, they, they gave me a beaten. Alright, we can go to the store now. Let's see what's on offer. Let's see if there's anything I can sell. Javelin gun, it's cool, but I don't feel like it's essential to me right now. So I'll move them over. That Earth Seeker rifle as well, again, cool, not essential to me right now. What's the difference between the pulse rifle and the gun I've got right now? An Earth Gun pulse rifle. Damage plus 5, reload minus 10. Doesn't say. Can I launch grenades with this? Yes, it, it seems like it's exactly the same. Why would I want to buy another one? Unless you accidentally sell one, but then can you not just get it back from the store? Mustn't be able to. Rivet gun. Let's get that then. So this is a proximity mine shooter. Not really my style, so I'm not going to get that. The line gun though, that's a good one to have. Did I just buy that line gun or was it free? I'm looking for something that increases my inventory. Is there a suit that does that? 15 inventory slots, 15% armor. So no. Right now I've got the one that does stuff for health. Yeah, that's what I'm wearing right now. No, it's not what I'm wearing right now. Five percent damage, increase in stasis duration, decrease in recharge time. Stasis duration increased by ten percent. It's all about like weapons, really. The suits it seems. I don't feel like I'm having a problem with health right now, so I'm gonna go and try to increase my stasis. Because I have noticed that has been lasting a huge amount of time. Apparently today you can pre-order Andor and Obi-Wan Kenobi on 4K Blu-ray, but I've been on the stores, can't do that in the UK, which is a shame. Ooh, that is a really cool outfit. Sorry, just getting a little distracted by some news on my phone. John Burnfall is teasing his return as the Punisher. I think we already knew he was coming back. He's in the next season of Daredevil. Oh, 
that is a really cool suit. I like that. Okay, let's have a look at my new guns. Line gun, that's a classic from the first game. This is one I'm not too sure of. A rivet gun, it's called. We'll have to give that a good go. Alright, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to continue playing this game until I get to the next save point. At which point, we'll call it a day. Because sadly I do have things I have to do later on. Just a quick look on my phone. Looks like there's a lot of news been happening while I've been streaming. Going on now. Hey Dana, there's this crazy guy that keeps contacting me. I saw him back at the hospital. Nolan Strauss. He was a patient in the project, just like you. Yeah? Well, why was he there? What does he want? He's a psychopath, Isaac. Stay clear of him. He murdered his own wife and child. Okay, I'll be careful. Is this a nightclub? United Space Fair and Guild History Series, Titan Station Conquering the Moon Part 2 of 2. A large colony was established on Titan to study the moon's every seismic detail and prepare it for disassembly. As the operation got underway, the orbital planet forms that slipped with the work became the prototypes for the planet crackers that would soon follow. Titan was successfully cracked and harvested, only slightly behind schedule. It was a major boost for the then beleaguered population of Earth who believed their extinction from lack of resources was imminent. Titan's harvest was halted before the entire moon was dissembled, leaving the small shard where the original colony had started. From here, the station grew in leaps and bounds as the new era of planet cracking got underway, serving as both a critical research outpost and with the advent of shock point drives, a way station for all planet cracking missions going forward. It is now whimsically known as the Sprawl, for having done just that over the many years of its operation. Cool. Getting Mass Effect vibes from like the whole nightclub scene here. I'm just assuming that was a nightclub. Seems weird to have a nightclub off... Is it a nightclub? What's it called? Bold stylings. Actually, it might actually... It, it looks like it's a hairdresser's. <laughs> yeah, it's a hairdresser's. Just, you know, the music. The music made me think it was a nightclub. I don't know, I suppose you could get your hair cut in a nightclub. It might not come out the way you want it, you know, because... Music can be distracting. Another text log. Altman's Footsteps, a publication of the followers of Michael Altman. We, the children of the market, grow tired of the oppressive, thinly veiled attacks from EarthGov on our rights to worship as we please. Reduced hours of operation for the church, fire marshal restrictions on the size of revival events, permits needed to distribute literature, these are all poorly concealed attempts to quash the truth, our truth, and they will not succeed. The blasphemous, short-sighted, reckless, destructive and hopeless path that EarthGov has us on is a dead end. One that only Unitology has answered to. Altman has foreseen it and we are blessed to execute it. Prepare yourselves, brothers and sisters. Convergence is nigh. Sounds like a cult to me. No, another one of these. Yeah, I'm not that keen on these mini games. If there was a variety of them, which there might be later on, but right now it just seems to be so much. Oh crap. What happens if I fail? Because I'm assuming I have to get through this door. The elevator's never here when you want it to be here, is it? Dana, I thought you were routing me to residential. This looks like a unitology recruitment center. Am I still on track? Yes. There's an old maintenance access point in there that'll take you through the waste disposal system and into the Cassini Towers. Stay sharp. Waste disposal system. Yeah, that sounds pleasant. 
another text log. Titan Station Church of Unitology recruiting report. Perry Gibbo, vested member. Tithe status fully paid. Recruiting has slowed markedly in the last few weeks. This is this is surely due to EarthGov's recent slander campaign, painting us as carpetbaggers and insurrectionists in the press. Regents from the churches at Venus Waypoint and Heli Helipose Observer are shocking in later this week. What are shocking in later this week to strat? That does not make sense. Regents from the churches at Venus Wayport and the Helio Heliopause Observer are shocking and later this week to strategize a response. Yeah, that, that does make sense. Expect additional budget to be allocated to public relations and media to combat this trend. Also, the CEC layoffs continue to negatively affect recruiting targets. We're down almost 30% year on year. Gibu out. Oh, can I try out my new gun now? Oh crap. Oh! Again, poorly designed story there. Oh no. I, really, I like how they're like screaming all the time when they're doing it. Anything in here? No. What's this? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Can I get out? No. Oh well. Onwards we go. Maybe I can go backwards once I'm in. Have a good look around. That's just the type of game I am. I hate like missing out on things. Let's go backwards. Just in case I've missed something. I especially do not like missing out on things on games that I'm enjoying. I'm having a lot of fun playing this right now. See, worth going back, get some credits. And ammo. So yeah, I'm not too sure about this javelin gun. Let's just make sure. Press RT to fire rivets. Rapid fire is enabled on this model. Press RB to discharge embedded rivets. Okay, so I'm like shooting like single bullets into enemies. Then press RB and they'll basically discharge from the enemy do an extra damage. Okay, so it's like a nail gun that then explodes or something. Just chilling. Lasts too much longer. Zero G garbage compactor. Extreme danger. And 
I go in there? No. Why let me through the first door if I can't get through the second one? Come on, let me get it. Oh, come on. Okay. This is very reminiscent of the first game now, the sort of corridors we've in. Very loud. It's 12 o'clock. Suddenly gone very quiet. Not sure if I like that. Right, let's see, what can I do here? So yeah, I can't upgrade my inventory from here. So it looks like I do have to get better upgrades. Yeah. There we go. I haven't even used that like one yet. There we go, that'll do for now. And with that, I am going to bring this stream to an end because I've sadly got things I need to do. If you've enjoyed this stream, well, thank you for watching. And of course, at the Undersoul Grand Burnet, all the links down below underneath my face right now. That is Twitter, X, Instagram, YouTube in particular. Follow me on YouTube for all of my video game content and all of my film and TV content, like a review of Marvel Spider-Man 2. I have just also posted a 10 cool facts about Ghostbusters, the original Ghostbusters, in anticipation of the new one, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm going to see that in Dolby next week, I believe it is. Anyway, this has been Dead Space 2. I've enjoyed it, so guess what? I'm going to be keep on playing this game. I will probably be streaming this again tomorrow. That's Wednesday the 13th, I believe. Yeah, that sounds right. Wednesday the 13th. I will be back streaming this, probably. And we'll see how things go. Right now, I am enjoying it a lot. So, yeah. Hopefully you are. Thanks for watching.